Hello, Torian here, and I'm going to show you how to take your lovely new iOS application and import it directly into Xcode and get it running on an iPhone right now. It's pretty straightforward, really, really easy. Now, the preferred method, apparently, would be to use Cocoon.js. Um, I've had a number of problems with it. Um, I definitely don't recommend it. I need to be able to show ads and control you know where and when those ads show up um, I need access to the game center and the leaderboard um, getting the leaderboard getting it to show up um, and then closing it down causes you to lose touch input just a lot of ridiculous problems um, that you'll just be spending your your weekends pulling your hair out over um, so I highly recommend ejecta they've got some great demos out there right now it, it's a great tool and what's amazing about ejecta is that you don't even need the plugin like i've got the plugin here i've created a modified version of it so that it supports iads but you don't even need to add it to your project what you want to do is go ahead and export your project to html5 be sure to you know make sure that it's not minified and then what you want to do is download the ejecta kitchen um, from the tutorial page, it's right here. Grab this, export it, open it up, and then what you want to do is simply take your HTML5 exported project, take all those files and just drop it into the app folder. Pretty straightforward, very, very easy. You'll notice that in this folder, there's already an exported HTML5 project. It's just a test project. Just go ahead and override it. You don't need it. The next step is to run one of these bat files. Um, there's a rumor that the WebGL doesn't work very well. I've, I haven't had that problem. Um, go ahead and double click it. It'll do its little thing and then it'll just close automatically. Um, now you don't need to go out and buy a Mac to get this into Xcode. I use a tool called VMware. Oh my gosh, it's such a lifesaver. Okay, so I wouldn't develop these iOS applications on my MacBook Air. I would always use my primary PC. It's just more powerful. Um, so grab VMware and you can grab, you know, the instructions on how to set up right off the, right off the uh, tutorial page here. And it covers in detail how to get this sucker going. And I got, I, just, I can't stress enough, it's, it's a big, enormous help. So we'll just copy this and put it under my public folder. And then in VMware on the Mac, we just access it on the network. So right here, we'll just copy the whole kitchen. And like I said, it has, you know, the, in the under the app folder has the construct export everything. A lot of this stuff you can even delete, like you don't need the index.html. Okay, so now that it's there, all we gotta do is just load up Xcode. Uh, very important to note that when you run Ejector for the first time, you're gonna have just a few minor problems. Um, let's start by playing it and seeing what happens. And I'll show you how to solve them. Cool, and it came up just like that. There weren't any problems whatsoever. Sometimes there are, um, you know, for example, I just use the bundle identifier that was there. Um, usually when it's there and you don't have one that matches on iTunes, it'll create one for you. Um, sometimes under build settings, you need to go down here and set um, build architecture only, set that to no. Um, and that's pretty much it, you know. But it's just it's just super, super easy, very straightforward. And I can launch this thing on my phone right now. And in fact, we're gonna do that real quick. And notice that even though I'm using VMware, I can plug my phone directly into my PC and it'll be picked up right here in, in my Mac, VMware.
So that's uh, basically how you do it. I gotta stress that you don't need to actually go out there and buy a Mac. Um, be sure to be sure to check out the the VMware tool. You know, I just can't stress enough that you know, I spent a week trying to get Cocoon JS to work for me, and I spent a day, you know, working with Ejecta, and I'm I'm incredibly happy. It's it's just so easy. You know, this is why I bought Construct. You know, I don't care about a WebRTC. I just want to be able to make iOS games quickly and easily. And uh, Ejecta helps out immensely. So check it out.